Hey guys, it's Hindash. Welcome back to my channel. I've been a bit MIA. I've been pretty sick actually, but I'm feeling much better. And Timmy hasn't really left my side, so sweet, so sweet. Today's video is long overdue. It is on my beautiful friend Zaina. She is an entrepreneur. She's a businesswoman. She owns and is the founder of one of the top luxury PR agencies in Dubai, Z7. And I'm so glad that she was able to film this with me. So thank you, Zaina. And here is the 40 and flawless look on Zaina. And I'm here to prove that you can basically do any kind of look, and especially the looks that I do on my channel. You can really wear them throughout age and throughout skin tones and skin types. And as always, I'm not gonna ramble on too much. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave me a thumbs up, a comment, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye. All right, so here we have the beautiful Zena, and as always, I'm gonna be starting off with skincare. And of course, we're starting off with a clean base with nothing on, which is very brave of her, so give this video a thumbs up just for that. <laughs> all right, so for skincare, I'm starting off with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, and I'm just spraying that all over the face as always. And for this video, I'm actually using Zena's actual skincare routine. So I let her get her favorites. And I'm starting off with the 111 Skin Celestial Black Diamond Emulsion. And I do really love this brand. I use their vitamin C booster and it's so good. So I'm just going to be applying that all over the face as her moisturizer and working it into the skin and just waking everything up. And I really like that she got her skincare. So that way we can kind of um, collaborate on the video. <laughs> so she would take over skin and I would do the makeup. And again, just really working that in, give yourself a treat, make sure that you've got that blood circulation going before we start makeup. And for under eye cream, I'm taking her eye cream, which is the Three Lab Super Eye Treatment. Now, what I noticed about this is that it had kind of um, shimmer throughout it, so it does illuminate the under eye. And it feels quite tacky to the touch, so it kind of, um, I feel like makeup would be great for this because it grabs onto it. Kind of acts as a gripping primer, if that makes sense. And I like to take whatever is left on these smile lines and whatever areas I'd feel uh, would get a bit dry and tapping everything in, making sure everything sunk in. For lip balm, I'm taking the Amor Vita Perfecting Lip Balm. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and this is one of her favorites. She raves about it, so I really want to pick one up. And as you can see, she pretty much finished it. All right, so for concealer, I'm taking the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer in the shade Oat. Now, I'm going to be using three colors. One is going to be more of her skin tone, one is going to be a highlight shade, and one is going to be more of a bronzer and contour. And I'm just going to be dotting that under the eyes, around the nose, the chin, all the areas that I usually end up concealing because I'm not doing any foundation today. And I want this look to be wearable. I want you to be able to control how much coverage you want and how far you want to take it. And I'm blending everything in with the Hourglass Concealer Brush that launched with this concealer as well. And I love buffing things in in thin layers, you guys know that. And I'm going to tap it in with my fingers a bit just so I can get to see um, and feel the texture of the concealer and see what I want to do with it next. And I'm noticing that it does have a dry down, it dries to a soft matte finish, it uh, feels long wearing. So I'm just going to continue buffing that in with the brush and taking my time. If you prefer to go in with a beauty blender, you can. Um, it's just a different kind of coverage. I do go in with a beauty blender as well to test it out, but I do that more in the highlighting steps. And what I find out that people don't wanna wear foundation every day. So concealer is perfectly fine. You don't need to use as much as I did, honestly. I just wanna show you how far you can take it if you do wanna just use concealer, but you can definitely cut back on steps. But I would rather show you a more in-depth way to do it rather than a simple one because you can always cut it down. And I'm tapping a damp beauty blender all over the skin just so it could absorb any of that excess that's laying on top of the skin, if there is any. And that's a really good trick to kind of sink products into the skin. Now I'm going to take my highlight shade, which is the shade Pearl. And I'm going to dot that underneath the eyes, around the smile lines, chin, and forehead. So anywhere I want to bring forward and add more light. Jawline, upper lip, um, just go for it. <laughs> and for that, I'm going to be tapping my Beauty Blender in because I don't want crazy coverage. I just want to add that brightness. And I don't mind if this gets sheared down a bit, which it, it doesn't, but you know what I mean. For my bronzing shade, learning from my last video, I'm not going to go too dark. I'm just going to go a couple of shades darker, and this is in the color Flax. 
And again, I'm dotting that in areas where I want to contour and bring more warmth to the skin. So I'm not really just looking for a harsh gray contour or a sharp contour. I just want to warm up the skin and add more dimension. And of course, because this is a concealer, it's going to add coverage as well. And this time I'm using a fluffier brush because I want to spread and diffuse that color. I'm going to be tapping and blending that into the skin. So cheekbones, jawline, forehead, I just want to really diffuse that color. And you guys, I really do love a full face of just concealer. I think there's something about it that it gives you that high coverage, but everything feels very thin. And because concealers are usually uh, long wearing, it does sit so beautifully on the skin. I'm going to add a bit on her eyelids as well to act as a primer. And I'm going to set that with a thin layer of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Just very lightly all over the lids. So that when you do put eyeshadow, it's not going to tuck at the skin and it's not going to diffuse a very harsh, intense color. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm taking the Hourglass Arch or Arc Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil and Warm Brunette. Arch, it should be arch, right? <laughs> I'm just going to be brushing her brows up and filling in the gaps. Now, I really like Zena's eyebrows, so I don't want to change them. I just want to uh, make them a bit more full and a bit more structured. And with that, I'm filling with upward strokes and just lifting everything up. And going very light-handed when I get to the front of the brows. So I want the concentration of the color to be on the outer part. And I'm going to be setting that and adding a bit of color with the Hourglass Volumizing Fiber Gel in Soft Brunette. And this has been a favorite of mine. I've been packing it in my kit a lot because it doesn't deposit that heavy color. And that's why I don't like tinted brow gels because I feel like they get on the skin and they just mess everything up. But this one just deposits the right amount and leaves the brows soft and it keeps them in place. So I really, really do enjoy this. And as you can see, her brows are starting to look amazing. And as I brush that up, I can get to see what gaps I left behind. And I'm just gonna fill them in very slowly very carefully and repeating the same steps on the other brow and again just brushing everything up and making everything nice and lifted oh i love these brows for a blush highlight combo i'm taking the charlotte tilbury glowgasm beauty light wand and peachgasm now i do love the pink one which i recently discovered when i did my video with sophia but i have to say this one kind of left a pink highlight behind which i wasn't a complete fan of but it is so beautiful if you do like a pink highlight this does leave a pink highlight how many times did i have to say pink highlight <laughs> but again it's so luminous it's so healthy looking it's very natural and i think hmm, i think the pink highlight came from a blush that i put after we'll figure it out <laughs> but i'm just dotting that on the cheeks and a bit on the tip of the nose and just tapping the product in because i don't want to rub and lift the foundation underneath for an eyeliner, I'm stepping away from my NARS Mambo for just a second, and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury, the classic powder pencil in Audrey. Now, this is a much darker brown version of the NARS that I usually go for, but it's so easy to apply. It's so pretty. It kind of has that same wooden formula that I like. And I'm starting off slow and making her look ahead so I can see where to take this shape. And going in with my brush, I'm just going to diffuse that color and smudge it and wing it out because I do want to go for that nice, diffused, smoked out wing, but not too crazy. Again, just adding that nice lift. For eyeshadow, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Easy Eye Palette in Charlotte Darling. Now this is a bit too warm for what I want to go for, but I am taking the darkest shade in it and just smudging the liner just to give it more warmth and to make it look softer. Going in with my MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 Eyeshadow Palette, I'm taking the nudes and mixing them together the lighter nudes, and just running that in the crease and adding a bit of brown to deepen the edge. I'm taking the two lighter colors and blending that on the brow bone just to add a nice matte highlight. And doing the same on the lid, just creating a nice matte base and adding that dimension. So basically we're contouring the eye, giving it depth, and then you get to see that nice dimension. And repeating the same steps on the other eye, and what I like about this is that it really does elongate her eyes and makes them look bigger. And you can cut down a lot of the eyeshadow steps depending on what you're doing this for. For mascara, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. I really love this mascara. It's one of my favorites. And adding in individual lashes, mainly on the outer corner, just to create that nice fluffy lift. 
I'm taking the lighter matte peachy color in the palette and running that on the lower lash line. Now this is actually very pigmented and went on very like orangey, which I, I wanted a soft diffused color, but it's fine. We get to blend it in and it does look really pretty. <laughs> So I'm gonna be taking a bit of that color in the crease just to warm everything up and, and make the colors all blend together nicely. I'm gonna do a very thin liner and I'm taking the MAC Dual Dare All Day Waterproof Liner. Because the tip of this is so tiny, I can just basically stamp it on. And that's gonna create a look of fuller eyelashes without it looking like eyeliner. And it just blends in those individual lashes really nicely as well. Taking that shimmer shade from the Charlotte Tilbury palette, I'm just gonna put it on the inner corners very lightly. And it's gonna add that nice highlight on the inner corners. And taking a bit of mascara on my fan brush and putting that on the lower lashes. The reason why I do this is because it doesn't deposit a lot and it fans them out really nicely. For lip liner, I'm taking the NARS Lip Pencil in Vents and I'm gonna be lining and filling in her lips. And I went for this lip liner because it's very creamy and it really glides onto the lips. And it's a nice peachy nude color that mimics the tones in the eyes that we did. And to add a bit of that contour color, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude, which is a much cooler tone. And I'm going to start to kind of define and shape the lips with that, just on the edges and outer corners. And that way we kind of get to fake fuller lips. For lipstick, I'm gonna be trying out the Lisa Eldridge True Velvet Lipstick in Velvet Fawn. I ordered these a long time ago and I never got to use them. I love Lisa Eldridge so much, so I'm really, really excited. These look beautiful and they really are beautiful. I really wanna use the reds. The reds really got me. And I'm just gonna apply that with a lip brush and keep things nice and matte. To finish off the skin, I'm taking the Hourglass Powder again and just sort of highlighting and setting the areas. And that kind of diffuses and blurs the texture without making the skin look dry. Because this is a great powder for dry skin. To add some color to the face, I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in Ghost. And I'm dipping into the blushes and putting that on the high points of the cheeks. And this is where you get to see that pink highlight come in. I think it kind of diffused with the cream highlight. I don't know what happened, but I mean, I'm not mad at it, but you know, I wasn't planning on a pink highlight. <laughs> and dipping into the bronzer shades and warming up the skin. Next, I'm gonna be taking the highlighting shades and putting that on the high points of the face where you would normally highlight, and down the bridge of the nose and on the forehead. And that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Leave Zena some positive comments because I'm so happy that she modeled for me and so that we can see more of these videos. So don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.